Hello everybody, it's Kirsty again. Okay, we're going to start looking at charts straight away. First of all, I want to have a look at the shooting of Charles Vallow by Alex Cox, Laurie's brother. Then I want to look at the death of Alex Cox, Laurie's brother. These two are interesting because as you'll see we've got Scorpio here in Charles's shooting chart. Scorpio represents the victim and Taurus the suspect. In Alex's, Taurus is the victim and Scorpio is the suspect. Now that's interesting because we know that Alex Cox shot or we think that Alex Cox shot Charles Vallow. He said he did, he took the blame for it. So this is him, Taurus. Taurus is actually ruled by Venus, which is a female. Now Venus, we, kn we also know that Tylee was definitely in the house and was involved in this in somehow, well Alex Cox said she was involved somehow. Venus represents nieces and nephews and that's his niece. Now I'm interested and curious as to whether it was actually him that killed Charles or not one of the females in the house. I'm more likely to think that that's a an older female. I I, th I get this sense that he could have he could have been covering up for someone. But even so, even if he didn't, we have the Taurus is Alex Cox. So over here, when Alex Cox dies, Taurus is him again. But the suspect is. Scorpio. Now obviously the suspect can't be Charles himself because he's dead. But if Alex Cox did kill himself that would make sense because it would be over this scorpion which is Charles Vallow. There's some guilt there. But there's a couple of other things that lead me to think that someone may have had a hand in the death of Alex Cox and that is because Mercury is sitting right on top of the seventh house cusp. Mercury is two people and Mercury is siblings, his sister and his brother-in-law. So this, these charts really actually indicate that this was all linked together. So I think everyone pretty much knows that, but it does indicate the linking of it together. So let's just have a look at Charles's chart by itself here. Try and zoom in. Okay. So Venus being the ruler of the suspect in the 8th house of death also shows that the suspect is possibly going, the death will be a result for him as a result of shooting Charles Vallow. Whether it was a suicide or whether he was poisoned or killed, um, we'll, we'll get into that more. But so Charles is represented by Scorpio which is Mars. Now Mars is in Leo so that's not great and Mars is also the apex of a T-square between Charles himself and Uranus. They're both at six degrees you'll see and then there's a red line. Uranus is sudden events. It's in the house of health so suddenly something happened. Mars is a gun and also any a weapon. Um, and something suddenly happened something happened very quickly. 
So yeah, something happened really quickly. Now we have Mercury right behind Mars here at 3 degrees retrograde. So that means it's just moving away from Mars. Now Mercury, I literally see that as well as the two siblings that are there, Laurie and Alex. But then we could also see that as JJ and Tylee were there. But basically all this is that there's witness to all of it. The sun is a male, and an older male. Um, Venus is the suspect himself. So you can imagine sort of where everybody is standing. And if we take Venus to represent Tylee, she's standing way back here going, oh, God, what's happening? Um, so to me, this is like Mars is Charles, Mercury is Laurie, and Alex. The sun is very far away from Mercury, so it's not, not joining that. But um, Venus in the 8th house of death is showing us that this suspect killed this person. So we've got the weapon and everything. He was shot in the chest. The chest is actually represented by the third house um, in this situation. So, and as we can see, Saturn is conjunct the third house. Saturn is our body and death. So the shot to the chest is probably what killed him. Um, the co-ruler of Charles is the moon and that's in the first house so he's just at home that shows he's he's laying where he was virtually you know at, at that that house he was nowhere else he wasn't down the street or over um in his own territory he was in that particular house right there and we often see that if if that moon was in the seventh house then we would say that Charles was at Alex's house, if you know what I mean. So this is Alex going into Charles's space, his personal space. What we also have here is a grand trine, so these big blue triangles. We have a grand trine between Venus, so the suspect, Charles himself and then Neptune in the fourth house. Neptune is delusional thinking, it's religion. Um, this shows me that there was some type of... Now people will say why, because it's a try and it should be a nice thing, but this can show us an argument that occurs, especially when Saturn and Pluto were there in the third house for, with a kite. We can see this kite here, so it's pointing there and over here. So anyway, Neptune in the fourth house is delusions in the home, basically. It's like there was a discussion about the religion that was going on and Charles didn't agree with it, didn't like it, and he was ganged up on, it seems like, by Alex and Laurie and it seems that the children were just witness to it. Um, we can put them, like I said, in the third house. Saturn's already in there, which is death, and it's conjunct the third house. So they were witness to the death of their father, basically. Um, just another one of her husbands, which is terrible. So yeah, this grand trine, which also turns into a kite, like I said, shows me that there was an argument, an emotional, heated argument um, about the religion and how Laurie and Alex were living their life and that turned into what inevitably was the death of Charles. Okay, now let's have a look at Alex's. Now I know this is really zoomed in, but this is the time that Alex died, which was 
basically at the end of the 911 phone call. So now here we have Alex ruled by Taurus, 28 degrees, nearly 29, and we all know 29 is not great. Um, so he is Venus, which is over here wedged between Saturn and Pluto. Not a great little combo there. And um, the perpetrator or the opposing effect that led to his death is Scorpio and that's represented by Mars in the sixth house of health. So when I look at this I'm led to believe really that he probably committed suicide and another reason why I think that is because the moon which co-rules Alex Cox at this time is at 29 degrees of Gemini so he would have been um, Gemini is thinking and overthinking and 29 degrees is just the point of no return of th thinking so much and knowing so much or being communicated to to the point where it's like I can't carry on anymore so this Mars here and the moon here really does indicate that he was probably feeling quite guilty and couldn't deal with the fact that all this stuff has been going on and that he was responsible for the death of one person if not two if not more so we don't really know and that's a shame um, that he's dead because he probably could have said something but anyway as I said before there is a one concerning thing here and that is Mercury is sitting on the seventh house cusp it's seven degrees away so it's a little bit further away which makes me think that just someone has said something to him that's triggered something off like this and as I said before Mercury represents our siblings so has Laurie herself said and it's in Sagittarius where someone talks to a lot so Mercury in Sagittarius likes to talk and it's detrimental as well by the way um, is that Laurie telling him that something's going to happen or he's going to get the blame or you know we'll see more as we look at more charts obviously it'll start to open up a clearer picture part of fortune is in there in the seventh house conjunct mercury so it's like the sibling has succeeded in making him do what she wanted him to do now uranus which is the sudden events that i was talking about prior is in conjunct which is this red dotty line to mercury and that means an adjustment is required so he's been given an ultimatum or privy um, to another secret and told that he's going to be blamed for it possibly and then suddenly something needed to change so she's contacted him and talked about something and then he's taken his own life that's what I think has happened um, Jupiter is in the 8th house of death and that means well you, it can show us taking one's life in a big sort of spectacular way um, the Sun is conjunct the 8th house cusp so, that, so that's a male passing away which is him um, if it's a suspect, if we were to think that it's people that actually killed him, then it would have been two other people in the house. And I don't believe that happened because the phone call was made by Alex's wife's son and he didn't say anything about anyone else being in the house. So that doesn't mean they weren't there before, of course. I'm not 100%. But the timing of this gentleman is very suspicious considering Tammy Daybell was killed or died in quote unquote died 
just within days prior. Okay, um, nothing else really stands out here. Um, as I said, I can see this 29 degree moon being Alex in the second house of self-worth and values and things like that also makes me think that the guilt has has come so he doesn't feel any w worth towards himself because he's so guilty he knows that so much has happened and it's not right um, so that's this moon in the second house here and it's opposing that Jupiter in the eighth house which sort of amplifies and ramps up the idea that death is probably the best way out so it's the opposition really between this moon this um, out of sign opposition between the moon and Jupiter in the eighth house the second and the eighth which shows that this was just the way that he was going to get out of it okay so I'm gonna leave it there those are the first two charts there are so many charts to look through that it can I, you'd be watching it for half an hour, an hour and go to sleep so I'm just going to do a few at a time and then we'll come up with a culmination of an idea of what happened related to all of the charts that we look at okay guys thank you so much again for listening and leave a comment, subscribe, hit the bell, do all those things and love you lots and take care, bye